Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your September 2022 it's new love reading for all of you singles out there looking for love. If you are currently in a romantic relationship of some kind, please check out the love readings that are already all posted for you guys. Thank you very much. Let's get into your reading and see what we've got coming out for you for the month ahead here messages for Leo please keep in mind these are general readings so not all the messages that come out will resonate with all of you take what resonates with you now leave the rest for somebody else but you may find something clicks into place a little while later because we are looking for the month ahead but check out your moon rising and Venus sign uh, readings as well for some um, more information the big picture kind of thing so let's see what we've got for you. So far we have Will. Um, I do apologize if my voice sounds a little bit scratchy and easily. I've been very sick the last few days, so hence why your readings are a couple of days late. Um, uh, I was just literally out for the count. We have a Will energy that's coming in here for you guys. This is all about um, expressing yourself. Being assertive. Okay? Having a clear sense of what you want and then going to get it but sometimes when we have the will energy just like the tortoise on the card sometimes we need to be reminded that it's one day at a time a little bit of patience is sometimes required <clears throat> and especially on the quest for love right you know have you ever noticed sometimes if you're in too much of a rush um, to get something done uh, sometimes we end up with like a half-assed kind of effort okay or we don't quite end up with the results that we were looking for because we rushed ahead and we made um, erratic choices um, and things along the way and it's like okay well, this is mostly what I wanted but not quite so when it comes to matters of the heart when it comes to matters of the lo of love patience may be a little bit of a key here for you but experience Express your desires to yourself and to the universe very clearly um, and know what it is that you want, okay? Because, you know, you don't need to know all the finer details, you know, oh, I want a person that's this tall with this hair and this career and this, 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 because quite often your perfect match um, doesn't meet what your initial expectations necessarily are. So being a little bit open um, is certainly uh, the order of the day. And we forget to do that sometimes because sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, those um, initial connections, it's like, oh, I don't think you're what I want. But then you get to know somebody and you're like, wow, and the sparks fly. Okay. But when it comes to, you know, being clear and expressing what it is you want, think about the energy. Okay. Or think about the traits that you really desire that are important for you out of love or out of a person. Honesty. Right. Commitment. Um, you know, someone who is active or energetic, right? The energy that is around rather than, um, you know, rather than focusing on the little um, minutia, okay? Um, but sometimes this is also that energy there of, you know, take control, okay? Take control, go after what it is you want. Sometimes, you know, yeah, sometimes we need to, um, you know, tread lightly or go a little bit slow, Okay, but we do need to take some action, right? Doesn't have to be like bold, explosive action, but just those little baby steps. And you will eventually get to the finish line just like that tortoise will. But we have passion coming in here too. This is nice energy for you guys, okay? Um, this is certainly bringing you in the possibility of finding in and finding a new love, okay? Someone who is... Um, ignites that passion within you someone who ignites some um, desires okay this brings in an energy of fun of joy of fulfillment okay so you know when we embrace this energy yes this can certainly be somebody that you might meet that can really kind of activate all this energy but this is that energy being activated within you no matter what okay um, you know, to know what it is you want, to know what your desires are, and to be really positive that you're going to find what you're looking for, okay? Just like that tortoise, okay, to get to that finish line may take a while, but eventually you will get what it is that you are wanting, that you've got your eye on there. But this is also a reminder from spirit that, you know, perhaps your key to finding love is to do things that you're passionate about. Do, say, do things that bring you a sense of 
um, excitement and joy um, because when we engage in those activities or when we do those things, it raises our vibration, right? We attract what we put out. The law of attraction 101, right? The energy that you put out there is what you get back. So when you put out that energy of, you know, of excitement or of just having fun, you're um, laughing, you're smiling, you're enjoying, you're living your absolute best life, you're attracting that energy back to you. And yes, that can come in the form of people as well. Because, you know, if you've ever gone to a restaurant and, you know, if you people watch at all, you know, or an airport or something like that, you can see the people who are having fun. You can see the people who are smiling and their energy is just so much different and so much more alive. Like you kind of want to go and join in the fun, join in the party. Like what, is, what are these guys celebrating? This looks like a lot of fun. But then you can look at a couple of people who are just kind of, uh, hum, hum. you know, they're just going through some motions or they just look completely miserable. They may pique your interest because it's like, oh, how come they look so miserable? But, you know, you're, they're not exciting. Right. You're just like if you were to choose two different tables to go towards, right, to introduce yourself, OK, or something or to, um, you know, just just kind of say, hey, what's all the what's all the happiness about? OK, you probably go to the one that is emitting that high vibe kind of energy. So that's just that reminder from spirit to do the things that you love. You never know who you might meet, actually, especially if you've got like a hobby or something like that, something that you wanted to pursue. Uh, you never know who you may meet um, when you go and pursue those things. Maybe you can join a club or some online community or something. Um, but when you are engaging and living your best life and when you are living life to its fullest, that's quite often when we are in that yin energy and we're allowing and that's when um you know some really great things start to flow towards us just like that table at the restaurant that's having a really great time okay and if you were so assertive enough you could walk over and you know hi you know what do you guys look like you're having so much fun what are you celebrating you know just start some chit chat okay imagine the universe doing that bite right back to you Okay, so it's a very, very um, high vibe kind of activity there. And we do have intuition coming in here too. Okay, so trust your intuition. Your intuition is showing you the path, showing you the way. Watch for all of those signs, symbols, and synchronicities that are around you. Okay, um, repeating numbers. Um, animals, uh, insects, where they don't belong. Okay, right, um, where they don't belong. I mean, if you see a ladybug on a flower, it probably belongs there. But if you see a ladybug on the windshield of your car in a big concrete jungle of a parking lot somewhere, hmm, that's probably some sort of sign. Ladybugs, ladybugs are good luck, by the way. Um, you know, so repeating numbers, right? You might be seeing those all the time. But ultimately, um, <clears throat> I think your intuition will certainly be guiding you forward. So trust it because sometimes we feel intuitively like we need to go somewhere or do something or initiate something. We don't always know why, but it just feels right. So if you've got that, that those kind of things, that little kind of tug, all right, follow it. See where it goes. See where it leads because it could be leading you to somewhere magical. All right, so let's see what else we've got. We've got the strength card. There you are right in the middle of your reading here, Leo. Bang, smack in the center. Okay, so this certainly does bring you um, front and center. Okay, this is all about um, your confidence, your strength, your willpower. Okay, but also your ability to maintain focus, a little bit of self-control, okay, but also to know what you want, to express your needs, your desires. You are rightful here um, in charge of your own story. Let's see what's crossing you. Your intuition, the high priestess. Wow, look at that. Okay, so interesting. I'm going to pull the rest of your cards. We've got the king of pentacles, eight of pentacles, Five of Swords, whoops, as I throw that card, Five of Swords, go away. Um, the King of Cups, oh, look at this. We have some things coming in for you. The Nine of Pentacles, there you are, focused on yourself, very nice. Seven of Wands, <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, 
and the Ace of Wands. Oh, hallelujah, baby, look at you. This is beautiful energy right here. Not only are you large and in charge, here with that strength card right there, focusing on yourself, your goals, your dreams, you know what you want, you're gaining confidence, you're also being very patient and very much like that will energy. You have a deep knowing of what it is you want, what you desire. You're gathering strength. You're maybe even gathering a little bit of courage to open the door for new love. Hello, King of Cups, which you're facing right there. So something exciting. Some of you may already have somebody in mind, by the way. I think here you may be a little bit conflicted um, about a connection. We do have, um, as I'm waving your High Priestess uh, card around here, I'm just going to put her down for a minute before I poke out my eye. Um, we do have money, uh, money and career possibly um, associations coming in here for some of you. Page of Pentacles too. Um, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, good Lord. Okay, so I think for some of you, you may have other priorities that you're putting ahead of love. Okay, just saying. Um, we all have to do that. Could be that you're working on something. Um, you might be working to get yourself some financial or career stability right about now. Uh, some of you with the Eight of Pentacles may have gone back to school. Um, you're perhaps working towards a, jo a new job or a promotion uh, in some way. Okay, you're gaining some level of success and stability in your financial world so that you can feel, um, so that you can be confident. Not, not in your ability to attract love, because I think true love uh, transcends um, physical reality sometimes. Um, it doesn't always, you know, focus on it's like, oh, first I have to have a successful career before I can have love. It doesn't really work that way. Uh, sometimes it does, but, you know, not really. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, but I think this is more for your self-worth for your sense of stability and security. So I think some of you um, may have some career goals or some financial goals, something that you're sorting out. You're almost at the finish line, I think, um, here in that regard. Um, but I think it's just for your own peace of mind that you may be working towards that, okay? Just saying. Um, you may have also at some point given up on love, right? Five of swords, forget it. I'm done, all right? I'm done. No, no way, okay? And then you focus on your career and then boom, love walks in. And quite often, that's the way things work, right? When we don't obsess over something um, or when we shift our focus somewhere else, that's when something can come in the back door and something um, can happen, right? How many times have you heard of people where they're like, oh, I had given up on love. I wasn't even looking for love. And boom, that's where it happened. There's a reason for that, right? Because, you know, sometimes... You know, if all we're doing is looking for love, we get frustrated. We get in this five of swords energy, right? We get, um, you know, we feel angry or challenged or we're like railing at the fates, right? And, you know, but sometimes when we just put that aside and we go and focus on something else, right? Then we're um, releasing some blocks unintentionally, perhaps sometimes, okay? And that's when things can happen. So it can be that that's what's going on for you. But I also do feel that... For some of you, there is a big story here um, where I think somebody out there, maybe even more than one of you, there is somebody that you have already got your eye on, you may have made a connection with, um, and it may be Five of Swords a little bit um, awkward, okay, um, or you may be a little bit conflicted about this connection because it may be that it's in an environment that is not supportive of love. And I'm talking like an inter um intercompany romance or something like that. Okay. Um, you know, or, you know, there could be something going on in the workplace, right? Maybe someone has, you know, joined your workplace and you're developing these feelings and you've got this inner conflict with your five of swords and you're like, oh my God, this is highly inappropriate. But there's no denying the feelings, the King of Cups, the love is there. Um, there might be some question or some doubt 
as to whether this person may feel the same way that you do. And, you know, hey, with two kings here, and especially the king of cups, there's certainly that possibility, okay, that's there for you. Um, but it's a little bit, uh, a little bit, um, I won't say sketchy because it's not sketchy, but this five of swords, it's like, oh, it's like, man, I really want this, but this is highly inappropriate. Okay. So it may be, um, someone might be in love with their boss, to be honest. Um, but it could also be, it doesn't have to be like your, uh, your actual, a work colleague, but it could be something around your career, around your workplace and some kind of could make a customer, um, could be someone that you meet on the way to work, right? Um, you know, you're trucking along to work. You're like, oh, my God, I didn't have any coffee this morning. I stop into my coffee shop in the morning. Or you go out for lunch and maybe you meet someone there or someone that you see regularly um, because this may be like an ongoing connection. So if that's the case for you, uh, step up. Okay, the kings that are showing up in your reading are an invitation to take the lead. You know, to put yourself out there a little bit. And that's where that strength energy is coming in there for you. Okay, okay. giving you the courage to take the lead. To initiate some sort of conversation or some sort of action. You may feel a little bit conflicted about it. Okay, but this is where you're gathering your courage. Okay, to do something um, or to speak your mind or to start the process, shall we say. Okay, so um, just saying that may not be for everybody. All right, but if that is your situation, oh, you just never know. We do have an Ace of Wands coming out here for you. Okay, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles uh, success that's there for you. Okay, so um, you just never know what might happen. Okay, and you know, hey, even if that five of swords there, there might be a possibility that there's a no, all right, but at least you know, just saying, all right, but I think for the rest of you, I think you've been very focused on you, on your goals, your dreams, your desires of making a good life for yourself, okay, and even though you want love and even though you've been, you know, um, hoping for love, or maybe you've been a little bit back and forth, the five of swords were a little bit conflicted about finding love, okay, but quite often when we take our um, attention off of it, that's where it does come walking in, but we've got the high priestess coming in here, so the high priestess is certainly where your intuition plays a key, key role, all right, now this can be associated with manifestation, okay, so Perhaps patience, there's a little bit of a waiting game here for some of you, okay? There's something that may be revealed to you, but it hasn't revealed itself yet. The high priestess, keeper of secrets and mysteries, okay? Something hidden may be revealed, but there may also be a secret that you are keeping. Just saying, okay? <laughs> Just saying, a love affair, a secret romance, a secret crush, something that you haven't expressed, there's some uncertainty there, your intuition is probably telling you uh, some things, okay, showing you some things, okay, but you may not be trusting it necessarily, it's in your crossing position, okay, so you might be doubting your own intuition here, all right, um, but there could also be a, something that has yet to be revealed to you. All right, and now this could be that there is a revelation that's going to come to you, okay, or you may need to get something out in the open, okay, because the high priestess is that quiet, mute energy. But this can also show as well, because the high priestess is very so uh, closely associated with the moon and your yin energy of being open and being receptive, Okay, it's like I'm not 100% open yet. All right, so you might be working through some Five of Swords energy here. You might be working through some inner conflict, some doubt, um, you know, of uncertainty, right? Do I want love? Do I not want love? Do I want love? Do I not want love? Right, a little bit of back and forth. Okay, so you might need to just um, focus on that, but that strength energy there, um, you really focusing on yourself, 
okay, and to take the time to um, figure out and understand what it is that you truly want will get you there, will get you to where you want to be, all right, will get you to um, this King of Cups energy, right, of being open, um, being ready to take charge, to take the lead, to maybe even assert yourself a little bit, right back to that willpower kind of energy, maybe to get creative a little bit, all right, or even just to trust your intuition, okay, in a very powerful way. So intuition, being open, and also a little bit of mystery involved in there for you, for some of you. We've got the Eight of Pentacles in your subconscious position here, okay? And your Eight of Pentacles can certainly show that there may be an under, underlying need to complete something that the, your current journey that you're currently on, okay? Um, this can certainly represent you being very patient, very detailed, putting your nose to the grindstone, you're committed to something, all right, and, you know, with your king of pentacles that's right above you here, you may be, again, very, very committed to your um, um, personal sense of stability, security, your money, your career, your finances, your home, all of those things, right, the things that make you feel strong and powerful and, you know, just make you feel like you're, you're in a really good space, right? And sometimes we need to, we need that before we allow someone in. It's like, I'm, I'm taking the time to work on me. Okay. I'm taking the time to focus on my goals, my needs, my desires. Okay. And, you know, and because I need to do that for myself, for your own self-worth perhaps. Okay. And sometimes, you know, again, we, we have to put on the brakes sometimes, right? Especially, you know, if, you know, we've been through some ups and downs. I'm sure all of you have had some great relationships, but some failed runs as well. I mean, you're single here, of course. Um, you know, some of you, hey, maybe you haven't had a long-term commitment or anything right now because you've been going to school, you've been graduating, you've been doing all of these things, and now you're looking at your future going, okay, I'm ready for the next leg of my journey. But whatever your circumstances, the Eight of Pentacles shows that you do not shy away from putting in hard work and effort you don't shy away from commitment. Once you commit, you stick with something until you're done, until the end. Okay, you're willing to work hard. You're willing to, um, you know, to put all of your energy into whatever it is that life throws at you. All right, and you don't back down from a challenge, I don't think, either. So... Um, but we do have two eights coming here for you. And we also have the ace of wands. We've got your intuition with the high priest as the connection with the moon cycles and also your intuition coming in here. All right. And I think there's some manifestations at play for some of you as well. Okay. I think you're very patient. You're, um, playing this little waiting game, not playing a waiting game, but you're in a waiting game a little bit. Okay, and sometimes you might be feeling a little bit doubtful, okay, that there's, um, you know, that there's something going to transpire for you, but I do think there are, there are some, um, there is some law of attraction that's really at work for you, okay, and um, so I think that your ability to really manifest um, what it is that you desire uh, is very powerful and very strong, but of course you need to be in that open receiving mode, right? So that high priestess crossing you, um, it's a little bit of a little bit of an issue, but not one that you can't get over. Okay, you have that power, you have that strength to um, open yourself up. Okay. Um, but the Five of Swords, yep, there may be some communication issues, there may be some conflict, some inner conflict, some outer conflict maybe there somewhere, okay, some doubts, um, maybe some back and forth energy coming in, um, there might be some, you know, energies from the past that are still influencing your current situation right now, right, giving you a little bit of you know, a uh, little bit of fear or angst or worries in some way, okay, but ultimately you can overcome that, that strength energy there, um, that's there, that's coming in there for you, right, you really um, focus
focused on yourself. And if you really look at these, right, the strength card, she is looking towards the future and this conflict is in the past. So trying to turn your back on conflict, trying to turn your back on negativity, okay, and looking forward to the future with more positivity. But the king of pentacles in your crowning position, yes, can certainly represent that you're focused on your um, career of, you know, getting into that good spot where you want to be. Um, but the king of pentacles can also just represent what it is you're looking for, right? Your goals, your thoughts, your possibilities. Yes, some of you, you're really focused on your financial situation, your career path right now, okay, before you open the door for love, although love can also walk in as a bit of a surprise, okay, and again, we may have that workplace connection somewhere in there for some of you. I highly doubt you're going to hit on your workmate um, there, but, um, you know, but this is kind of a boss energy coming in here, so it could be you taking the lead, um, unless you do have a crush on your boss, um, uh, which may be a little bit awkward, but hey, you know what, you never know. Uh, that just might play out for you. What does your intuition tell you? Pay attention to it. It's not showing you the wrong way, okay? But um, but I think also maybe something just around your workplace activity is not necessarily someone that you work with, someone in a different division, um, you know, customer, contractor, tradesperson that comes in perhaps, or someone that you see at your lunch break or something can be somewhere around those activities. But the King of Pentacles can also show perhaps the kind of person that you are looking for. Somebody who is stable. Someone who knows who they are, knows what they want. Someone who doesn't shy away or run away at the first sign of commitment. Okay, the King of Pentacles as a person is someone who is down to earth, they're practical, um, you know, they're, um, you know, on the, on the outside, they may sometimes come across as a little bit boring, um, you know, or slow moving kind of energy. But you know what, I think, you know, the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, it could certainly represent one in the same person, someone who, you know, really does have a lot of emotions that do run deep. Okay, and they may not just wear their heart on their sleeve. Okay, but this King of Pentacles could just be that connection that you are looking for, right? Um, and it doesn't mean there's no love or anything like that with the Pentacles energy um, there. It's just that, you know, they are, you know, a good, steady rock, right? Someone who you can really get on board with there. So again, some of you may already have somebody in mind with that king showing up right there, all right? Um, but hey, I think for some of you, there may be a couple of different doors that are opening, so you may have the pick of the crop. You may have a whole bunch of different things that are opening up for you, um, a little bit exciting there, okay? So keep your eye on the prize because we do have some excitement that's coming in here for you, all right? First off, we've got the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups, um, phew, Someone who is mature, loving, caring, someone who's diplomatic, someone who's kind and patient, someone who may be quite creative, possibly highly intuitive here with this king energy, okay? The king of cups is someone filled with love and romance. If you're ready to be swept off your feet, this could be that person there for you. It does not have to be male course, someone who is very much in touch with their masculine side, right? They take action. They take the lead. Okay. So this could certainly be somebody who takes the lead and who you meet and they're just, you're just like goo goo gaga over this person. Okay. It could be an offer um, that's there for you. Um, expression of some feelings possibly. Okay. You could just meet somebody and they just like, woof throw you for a loop and you're like whoa baby I am feeling all of the feels okay but they may be the one that takes the lead all right I think for others of you this is you stepping into your own personal power stepping into your own personal energy opening yourself up fully fully and completely for love a little bit closed off here but you're getting ready and then here boom you're just ready and you're just open, okay? This could be something that catches you off guard a little bit. 
it's either internally or externally, right? Um, you may just be a little bit caught off guard, but this is certainly um, a very mature, open, honest energy. Let's grab another card for that and let's see what else this king might be up to. The Empress, whoa. King of Cups with the Empress on top. Wowie baby. Empress, abundance, love, Venus. All right. Your ability to attract all kinds of love. So for one, for some of you, this could be your energy. Fully open up to love. Your ability to attract all kinds of love. You probably have to fend off your suitors at the door. Okay. But the Empress is abundance. And this is also being fully open, fully in tune with that yin energy, your heart open and ready for love. This can also this can also be part of manifestation as well, right? Because again, we've got your eights that are closely tied to manifestation. We've got an ace of wands coming in here. Uh, a little while later, okay, and that empress attracts. So your ability to attract love, very, very, very powerful at this time. We've got to love having the empress, okay? But this, for some of you, hold on to your hat, baby, okay? Because I think here that if you have not already made a connection, I think some of you are about to. Okay, trust your signs, trust yourself, trust your intuition, all right, because there could be something about to happen for you, someone waltzing right on in, and man, oh man, this is going to sweep you off your feet like there's no tomorrow, okay, um, beautiful energy, beautiful energy, so much love and romance and connection that is opening up in your near future, you got to love it. Okay, so whether it's you opening yourself up fully, okay, you're finally ready, you've gotten some things done, okay, and now it's like, yes, I'm ready to receive and receive indeed you shall, all right, but I think this is also for some of you a very important person. Now, the King of Cups can be a water sign, um, so Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer, okay, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be someone very creative, someone very open, someone very kind, someone very loving, and someone who has a lot of love to give. And this deep, deep, deep connection could be someone that you have manifested in from previous, um, uh, from previous intentions. Okay, um, but I also think here that if you are on, if you are contemplating setting some intentions for manifestation, this high priestess. Um, shows your connection with your crown chakra, with your intuition, with, you know, um, you know, with spirit. Uh, you might not be 100% sure what you want. And just like what we said a little bit earlier, focus on the energy. Okay. And, um, you know, rather than the fine details of what someone might look like or do for a living. Okay. Um, but be very, very clear in setting your intentions because this is showing your ability to harness all of that power in the universe to attract true love, okay? Um, a lot of potential, a lot of great energy that's coming in there for you. All right, so don't doubt your abilities and your capabilities, okay? Don't sell yourself short either. The Nine of Pentacles, this is you, your energy, but also advice for yourself, okay? Number one, Nine of Pentacles shows that you are right there knocking on the goal on your door of achieving your goals. All right. And this is, of course, the next, whoops, turned her upside down, um, the next step after the Eight of Pentacles. So there could be something very important that you're working on right now and you're right about to finish, right? Eight goes into the nine. Okay. So just, you know, finish up whatever you're doing and then enjoy your, enjoy your life. Now, the Eight of Pentacles could show that you've been doing a lot of work on yourself, and the Nine of Pentacles shows that you have 
achieved what you set out to achieve. So whatever your goals are that you're working on right now, whether or not just personal goals, um, career goals, money goals, whatever it happens to be, nine of pentacles, spirit really wants to tell you that, um, you know, that you are uh, really about to finish and you're successful, okay, at what you set out to accomplish, okay? Um, but when you're, once you finished, all right, celebrate your success. Celebrate you. Get out and have some fun. Do something exciting, okay? All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, right? Okay, we don't want that. No, we want you to be full of life and vibrancy because we want you to attract this love and all of these connections into your world. But I think with the Nine of Pentacles as well, Spirit really wants you to be confident in your abilities to find somebody that matches your vibe, that someone that you want, someone that's not going to take away your independence or your power or anything like that, someone who will enhance your life rather than take from it. And sometimes that's very important, okay? But spirit really wants you to put your anxieties and fears aside and just be very open, all right, and ready to receive, okay? But this nine of pentacles, finish up, okay? Your goals are within reach. Your goals are right here, okay? And then remember, reward yourself a little bit. The nine of pentacles, it's where we reward ourselves. Do something nice for ourselves. Go out and have some fun. Um, go do something interesting, okay? Or do something that... Um, you know, is really exciting, something that you always wanted to do, because you never know where you never know where you may meet somebody. Okay, something may just come out of the blue for you. So the nine of pentacles is a lovely, lovely energy of completion, of success, of taming our anxieties, but also of being um, rewarding ourselves for a job well done. And letting go of our fears and our worries, okay? Live in our best life, all right? Your external environment, the energy that's surrounding you, we've got the Seven of Wands. Of course, the Seven of Wands is, you know, an energy of confidence, of, you know, um, being in the, uh, not quite being in the spotlight, but being at the top of your game, all right? This is where you've turned around, you've faced your fears, you've faced your anxieties, you've overcome challenges, and you are in a position of strength. This shows that uh, you have the ability here to attract the right kind of people, all right? That all eyes are on you, okay? Um, you may be in the energy where you might put up some uh, boundaries, Okay, right, this guy here, he's standing and he's turning, okay? Um, so there might be a little bit of a pause for some of you uh, that comes in here, right? There's not necessarily a ton of, like, movement in your reading for September um, because I think it's really more of an energy of allowing. So the Seven of Wands can certainly be that energy where you um, know what your boundaries are, okay? You're feeling strong, you're feeling good, okay, and but you're only gonna let certain energies past you, okay, and I think that sometimes that's really important for us, right? I think you're being very patient, I think you have the ability to discern what is right for you and what is no, 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 you belong on the other side of my boundary, and that's it, that's important sometimes. But you can also in that seven of wands be in the energy of assessing a situation as well, okay? Um, standing up for yourself or speaking your truth, all right? Maybe even advocating for yourself a little bit, all right? So it can be that energy of, um, you know, stopping something in its tracks maybe or being in this king energy and taking... Um, how should we say, standing up for yourself and asking for what it is you want or speaking for what it is you want. There's a lot of strong energy that's coming into your reading, okay? Um, and I think, honestly, that, man, you are a little bit of a force to be reckoned with here, 
Let's get a little bit more information here with the Seven of Wands. We've got the Sun, the Three of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles here <clears throat> is certainly a little bit of a heads up, okay? Um, because this is a lack mentality, okay? And, you know, sometimes we focus a little bit too much on what we don't have or what we can't do is where our worries and our fears sometimes come and plague us. Okay, or it's sometimes where we're ignoring the answers or not seeing the possibilities. And you see this person here, right, out in the cold, barefoot, kind of, uh, I don't have what I need. All right, but there's something hidden. We've got one, two, three and a half pentacles, right? There's that fourth pentacle and the fifth pentacle is hidden right there. Secrets. Something hidden. So again, I think here that, you know, there's a, a, an, um, a reminder to keep an open mind, okay, to keep our options open, to put up bound, healthy boundaries, but not walls, okay? Healthy boundaries is where the good can come in, the good energy flows, okay, but the bad energy stays out, all right? But whereas a wall, nothing gets in or out either way. Okay, so I think here that there's something here that you may not necessarily be aware of right about now, and it's important to keep that positive attitude and to keep an open mind and an um, open perspective. There may also be something a little bit different that you may want to try, okay? A different approach, right? An alternate approach, Okay, so you might need to use your imagination a little bit or you may need to ask for a little bit of help because the five of pentacles is a little bit of a stubborn energy. The seven of wands can sometimes be a stubborn energy as well. So there may be a little bit of stubbornness there or a little bit of reluctance. Okay, but this is where you can rely on friends. The three of cups is the social card. All right, this is the, the card of celebration, of joy, of positivity, but it's also one where we get together with our friends, okay, or we rely on a little bit of help from friends, um, friends, coworkers, you name it. So there may be some helpful resources available for you, okay, or around you. Or this can also be seven of wands. When you stand up and when you ask for, ask for what you want, okay, you speak your truth, you speak your mind, you may have some fear, okay, with that five of pentacles. What if the answer is no? But what if the answer is yes with the three of cups? You don't know always what the answer to something may be until you speak up, until you embrace this king energy and take the lead. But the three of cups, yes, there may be some help that is available from friends, coworkers, something in your social circle, whether it's just some advice or whether someone may want to set you up. That could be there too. All right. And perhaps, you know, if you've got a friend that says, I have a perfect person for you and, uh, you know, you want to go out on a blind date, you might be like, Ugh, no. <laughs> okay. But hey, you never know what might happen because we do have the sun. And the sun is the happiest energy in the entire deck. This brings about abundance, joy, happiness, success, your ability to create, turn your visions, your passions, your desires into reality. The sun, I mean, the sun with the three of cups. Oh, man, oh, man, is that ever some high vibe energy going on there for you. So I think the sun is chasing away any kind of darkness, doubts, fears, anxieties from you. This is showing a positive outlook, a positive perspective, okay? This is shining a beautiful positive light on your entire month, okay? This is the energy surrounding you, all the possibilities that are around you, okay? So stay positive. Don't be in that five of pentacles energy, uh-uh, right? The sun brings abundance. The five of pentacles brings lack. The empress brings abundance. So what do you want? Do you want abundance or do you want lack? I know what I pick, okay? The Nine of Pentacles brings abundance as well. There's a lot of abundance that is around you. A lot of possibilities, a lot of opportunities, some help, maybe even 
around you as well. So keep your eye on the prize. Stay positive. Okay. Um, be in the flow. Go with the flow. All right. And you just never know what doors may open for you there. It's a beautiful energy. Your hopes and your fears. The page of pentacles. You want something new, but it's also freaking you out. The page of pentacles is, you know, for signs of prosperity, for signs of manifestation. Okay. This is you know, new information, knowledge, all right, but it is also, um, you know, the pages do represent something new coming to fruition in your world, all right, and even though there's, when it's new, it's exciting, and it's wonderful, right, the new connection here, okay, king of pentacles, you're really looking for that, but you got to start somewhere with the page before things can turn into the king, and, you know, so even though you're really hopeful, that you find something new, this new connection, which may be also a little bit of fear that goes along with that, especially since we've got the Five of Pentacles coming out there. Um, so embrace the hope, embrace the sun, embrace the abundance, be open, okay, because that's where the magic happens. Now I do have to say, and I'm going to go right back to this because you know I'm going to, the Page of Pentacles, right? Some hope and some fear and... Hey, if you have some workplace connection and you're feeling all the warm fuzzies and you're feeling the vibes and you just, er, things are clicking with you and your person, you know what? You just never know what might happen there, okay? You know if that is you, all right? And that energy is coming out pretty loud and pretty strong, Okay, so there just might be somebody that you already know, um, and you just you you just might be feeling all those all those feelings, all those vibes, and it might be frightening you a little bit, right? This is highly inappropriate. This is I don't know if this is gonna if this is you know gonna transpire. What if I put myself out there, and what if something doesn't come back? And you know what? Sometimes we do need to take a little bit of a chance. What is your intuition telling you? Trust it. Trust your feelings. Trust those vibes. Okay? Because there's a reason that you're feeling the way you're feeling. And you know what? Spark up a conversation. Just make something casual. You just never know. You just never know. Because we do have an ace of wands manifestations, new beginnings, something is coming to fruition in your world, okay? The Ace of Wands is something exciting, all right? Super duper exciting, igniting this passion within, okay? This external connection, these passions, the Aces, the Ace of Wands especially is some manifestations starting to come to fruition for you, the beginnings, the new opportunity. What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? Are you going to embrace it? Are you going to run with it? Are you going to allow something to blossom? Are you going to find that new connection, right? Remember, we've got passion coming out there and we've got passion coming out there. All right. So embrace that energy. The time for you to find love starts now, my friends. All right, so live it, love it. New beginnings, new connections, abundance, all this beautiful energy flowing all around you. Know what you want and go for it. Because success is yours. Some of you, it's here, it's now. You already know what it is. Others of you, those doors are opening for you. The portal is opening for you. Okay, the ability to find and attract the connection that you want is all opening. Wow, thank you. All opening up for you. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Be open. Be receptive. Okay. And stay positive with that sun. Last messages for you. It is safe for you to love. Look at that. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The highest energy, highest vibration is, of course, love. We also have trust. 
Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yep. And we have soulmate. Mm, beautiful. Yes, this is your soulmate. Number one, I think some of you are manifesting a soulmate. Ace of Wands, Spirit telling you that yes, you have been heard. But I think also that some of you do have this connection that's coming in, these doors opening for you. The question is, are you open? I think some of you already know who this person is. Take a chance. Those aces bring a little bit of luck, you know. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic month ahead. And um, I will see you guys later. Bye.